Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use external start. If you ever wanna trigger robot motion from another device like uh, another robot or dragon frame or a button like I've got here, external start is the way to do that. And it's actually really easy to set up. So let me show you how to do that. So I've got a program written here in CC Lab. So I'm ready to uh, actually run it and I wanna trigger it from my button. I'm gonna put it in T2 just so we're running full speed here. All right, so now I click the run button and in the configure tab, uh, all I do is turn on external start. The trigger input is, that corresponds to where I've got the button plugged in. I've got it plugged into DI1 on the sim. So I'm gonna leave that selected and I want it to trigger when that signal goes on. So I select that, I say next. I've gotta hold the enable and do my reset. I'm already there, of course. So now it's ready to, to wait, it's waiting for that trigger and it's ready to run. So I don't actually need the wand, I'm just gonna run it from, uh, with the button press, pick that up, and press start on my, my CC Lab program, and then I press the button, and my program runs. Uh, if you're using another device, it's a good possibility uh, that you need to use a relay. So go ahead and watch this other video on how to use relays, if that's the case, and you just set it up this exact same way. It's just, with this button that's just completing a circuit, the relay will complete that circuit and trigger the program to run. And that's it.